In this video, I'm going to go through the first steps required to authorize with the DFP API before we even get into code. There are two primary ways to authorize with the DFP API. The first is the service account flow. This is the simplest method and works well if you only want to make requests to one network. For example, an application that downloads reports from your network every day. The second is the web application flow. This is the more complicated method, but allows you to make requests on behalf of many users whose networks you might not have direct access to. For example, an application for traffickers to monitor changes to their line items. I won't cover the details in this video, but there's more information on developers.google.com. Back to the service account flow. There are three steps required to get started. First, create a service account in the Google API console. Next, enable API access in DFP. Finally, add the service account as a user in your network. Let's take a look at creating the service account. Navigate your browser to console.cloud.google.com. You may be asked to go through a brief sign-up process if you've never accessed this page before. Under the IAM and admin menu item on the left, select the service account submenu. Then click the create service account button. Give the account a name that's descriptive of your integration. You'll need to select a role as well. While this role has no bearing over your access level to DFP, I recommend selecting one with limited privileges, such as Project Browser. Also select Furnish a new private key and JSON as the file type. Then click Create. Your browser will download the JSON file for the service account. This file is like a username and password all in one, so please keep it a secret. Take note of the service account ID field. We'll need it in the next section. Now navigate your browser to google.com slash DFP. Select admin and then global settings from the left-hand side. Ensure API access is checked and then click add a service account user. Give the user a name and enter the service account email that we saved from the previous screen. Select teams in a role for the user that will give it sufficient privileges to access the entities required for your integration and then click Save. The new user is now visible in the DFP UI and you can make API requests to your network using it. 